Hi everybody, I am Said and you are watching one of the videos from my channel The Key. In this video, I want to tell you how you can at home collimate your telescope, a reflector telescope or, if you will, a Newtonian telescope. For guitar players, tuning the guitar is something quite common. They may do it twice a day, or every time that they want to play something. It might be necessary as any condition or situation. For you, if you are a stargazer, the Newtonian telescope collimation should be something pretty easy. You might need it for doing it twice a year, or just once in a couple of years. But this is something pretty easy that you can do yourself without the need of any uh, other device, any strange specific device. As you know in Newtonian telescopes, the light is gathered from here, is collected really from here, and then reflected by the primary mirror at the area like this, and then reflected by the secondary mirror into the focuser and finally into the eyepiece and you can see the object. So we have three things in here that should be aligned. Primary mirror, secondary mirror, and of course, the focuser itself. For collimating, uh, we need to know the fact that if you move your telescope with your car a lot, or if you uh, bring it from a very hot condition to very low uh, temperature condition, uh, or vice versa, in such conditions, or even if you use your telescope a lot, uh, you will see that this orientation, this alignment, will be changed. So, you may not be able to focus on different things in the night sky. You can see something, but if you try to focus on it, you will notice that it is always blurry. So, we need to bring them back in their alignment. Of course, you know that this process is called collimation. For a focuser, we don't have anything to adjust for collimation. We will be working on secondary mirror and on primary mirror. To start it, look at this, my friends. The head of your telescope should be downward during this process, because when you are adjusting the secondary mirror, something may fall from your hand. And if your head of the telescope is upward, you will hit your primary mirror. To prevent it, keep it downward. Uh, we have basically three, uh, four screws on the secondary mirror. One of them is at the center. It keeps the secondary mirror at its place and uh, pulls it. Three others, that are mainly Allen screws, are pushing back the secondary mirror. So your secondary mirror is under a pushing and pulling, which is in a balance of forces. When you're trying to adjust one of those screws, Allen screws, you are trying to move the condition, change the condition of the secondary mirror. Well, of course, at the same time, you are changing the balance. So the movement of the secondary telescope is really rapid and strange. And let's see it in practice when you're trying to adjust, let's see what happens. And I will show you how it is possible to make it more stable and move smoothly. I believe that it is not a good idea to always be working on the options that the manufacturers provide for us. When you start adjusting secondary mirror, you will soon notice that its movement is rapid uncontrolled and even random. Apparently it is impossible to adjust it because it just jumped from one point to another. It never moves smoothly. To make it more stable, I want to spring load it. I first disassemble the secondary mirror by unscrewing the central screw. My spring is not long enough, so I need to use a tool with it. I add the tool 
and then the spring. I bring back the second mirror into its place. And now, central screw pulls the mirror and the spring pushes it back. So it is in a stable condition because it is under two forces and it is now stable. Now, we are using Allen screws just for adjusting the mirror instead of pushing some force on it to make it a stable. Now rotate the secondary mirror to our left or right and at the same time look into the focuser and find a situation in which we can see all of the secondary mirror in it. Now that we have hacked the secondary mirror, this is time to think about a device using which we can collimate our telescope. You don't need to buy a laser collimator. Look at this, we can use something like this. This is a plastic pulley of an old tape player. You can find something like this and use it as your collimator. It needs to be round and with a hole at the center, with a diameter of around 1 mm or something like this. To attach the pulley, which is now my collimator, onto the focuser, I use these three little things. I don't know how should I call them, but they are used to attach pieces of paper onto whiteboard. I try to install it exactly at the center of the focuser. To start collimation, look through this hole and keep the head of your telescope, as I said, downward and have a wrench like this, Allen wrench, in your hand and try to adjust the secondary mirror. I will show you in practice what you can see from this small hole. To adjust the secondary mirror, I should be able to see all three clips around the primary mirror from here. I can see one of them now. With some adjustments, now I can see the second one. With some more, I should be able to see the third one. Yes, here it is. Now I can see all three clips of the primary mirror from here. The idea is that when you are able to see all of these three clips, it means that you have all the primary mirror in the view of your secondary mirror, meaning that your secondary mirror is now adjusted. Unlock these screws. These are the locks of the primary mirror preventing it from unwanted movements. And these knobs are used to adjust the primary mirror. Again, look through that hole and move and play with those knobs of the primary mirror and try to bring the secondary mirror at the center of the circle. Don't be distracted by plastic parts around the image of the secondary mirror. Just be focused on the circle that you can see from the secondary mirror from here. Play around with them and try to bring it at the center. I feel that it is relatively at the center. Some other movements toward the right and down would be needed for it. Yes, I feel that it is exactly at the center of the circle that I can see. Let's check all things one more time. I can see three clips from primary mirror here. It means that the secondary mirror is now adjusted. And also, I can see that the distance from the secondary mirror, from the edges of the large circle, is the same from everywhere. It means that the primary mirror is set. Lock the screws one more time. Now your telescope is collimated. To fine-tune the collimation, you can point your telescope at a relatively dim star and then bring it slightly out of focus. Of course, you will see that the star at the center and a lot of circles around it. If all of those circles have the same center, which is that star that you are watching at, it means that your collimation is done. 
If they don't have the same center, don't be worried. Everything that you have done until now is right. You just need to fine tune the primary mirror one more time slightly. Just work with those knobs and uh, try to bring all of those circles in a condition that they have the same center, which is the star that you are watching at. At this moment, you have done a complete collimation for your telescope. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching my video.